Hello, I'm Steve with Touch of the Master's Hand, Holy Spirit Ministries. Um, I wanted to talk today about life in the Spirit. Um, I got some scriptures. The Lord's been highlighting specific scriptures to me in dreams. Um, real specific. So yeah, I'm going to kind of dive into a couple of them. Uh, this was one that came kind of for the New Year. So Happy New Year. Uh, day late. Uh, dive into it and then I'll tell you kind of what's going on. Colossians 3, 2. Set your mind on things above, not on things on the earth. For you died, and your life is hidden with Christ in God. When Christ, who is our safe life, appears, then you also appear with Him in glory. That's kind of where this is, where I'm at, is... I just want everything to be about Him, about Jesus, about Him being my ultimate source, about keeping my mind in the spiritual and not in the natural. When you say that, sometimes you get stink eye in church, world, whatever, you know, but it's like, I'm kind of like past that. And that's where we're supposed to be past all the cares of this life because you know I've had some real issues in my life right now you know my tire is a bathroom because the Lord inspired me to finish this book called Christ in you the hope of glory Jesus Christ in you the hope of glory and he gave me a short deadline he wants it out by February and this was several months ago and I was like man God that's a wasn't even on my radar. Second book that I wrote. I was like, God, how am I going to do all this, Jesus? It's just not, you know, I really don't have a lot. But he's been kind of putting things into place. But I still needed some more help. I had about 50 pages. And I was like, God, it's kind of a little, you know, all over the map. And I just kind of got to. You know, keep going, and there's a lot of scriptures. Um, some specific scriptures he gave me were Matthew 17:2, John 17:2, and Luke 17:2, and how they all kind of correlated in the message of this hour, and then they, they fit into the book. And it's just like been getting a lot of scriptures, and he's been giving me a lot of scriptures that go with it. And I was like, okay, you know, I get it. And then over the holidays, we were supposed to have like some four-day weekends. And uh, the day after Christmas, I caught the flu really bad. And I've just been laid up pretty much since. Literally, no strength. Just sapped. Yesterday I worked on it some, you know, but I was looking forward to and wanting to have that time to just kind of hole up and just kind of just, you know, start, you know, Meeting this deadline that the Lord gave me. And I was like, God, you know, a little help here, Jesus. I just feel like I'm... It's like, hey, God, you want me to do this, but it kind of, like, kicked the stool off from underneath me, took some, some of the tools away. And, but I have to go back to the scripture that, one of my favorite, I've got several of them, but is... In Proverbs 3, 5, and 6, trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. So it's kind of, you know, kind of what I'm saying. Get out of our mind and get out of the natural and the things. I, I understand it. it. It can be distracting, you know. Your car needs oil changing. you got to go to jobs. you got, you know, kids. you got birthdays, graduations. you got it's a lot of stuff going on, you know. If you got kids, it's just constantly, you know, things. Pulling for your attention you want to rest a little bit you turn on the internet or your YouTube feed or there's just all this kind of crazy video crap out there that I don't even click on any, you know I clicked on a few of them a couple times made a mistake and then all this other junk comes up but man I just don't want to pollute myself with all this stuff the things of this world. 
like I said, I get it. I got some things that, you know, I need some help with. Some serious things in my life, you know? And, uh, it's like, but I just have to go back to that trust in the Lord. And put them in His hands. And I kind of pu pull it back. Think about how if I do this, if I say this, if I figure this out, if I do this step, if I take, you know, and it's kind of push and pull, you know? So I'm just kind of in the obedience piece, but anyhow, I'm going to cut this short, uh, and I'm going to give you one other scripture that I had that was really specific, and I've been getting a lot of them, so I'm, you know, going to probably put out a video about dreams, visions and dreams. Um, you can email me at steveyoungstrom at yahoo.com if you, you know, want a copy of my other book, uh, free, won't do nothing with your email, I'll just trash it after you're done, send me your address, I'll send you a copy, but, and yeah, this other book is coming out on February 1st, so if you want a copy of that, just email me, steveyoungstermiyahoo.com, or it'll be available on Amazon, but, anyhow, this one was real specific, but it's more specific towards my wife, she has this place in her, in her house where she loves to pray in front of a fireplace, especially when it's cold, like on today, it's like today, it's kind of cold in Dallas, actually, cold, rainy, and just sloppy, and she'd sit in this prayer chair we got, it's actually an antique chair from a church in Europe, from, um, and she'd have a blanket, she'd curl up, and my wife has a really good spiritual gift of tones, just like a lot, just kind of just flows, I mean, me, sometimes I have to kind of, you know, just really get into it. And it's, sometimes it even seems like an uphill battle. But her, it's just kind of like just fluid, like just. And so it's kind of like, you know, man, but it's awesome. But I'll wake up in the middle of the night sometimes, three, four in the morning, and want to need to pray too. But sometimes I'll wake up and she'll be out there praying. I'll just go back to sleep because it's so peaceful. But anyhow, she's in there praying, and she's praying in tongues. So. In this dream, I woke, I looked up above the fireplace, and in letters about one foot tall and bright, bright, bright lighted letters, it said Romans 8 27. And I woke up, I was like, man, I better go look that up. So here it is. 8 26 is really good too, but 8 27 is what he highlighted. For we, no, oh, here it is. Now he who searches the heart knows what the mind of the Spirit is, because he makes intercession for the saints according to the will of God. But if you go to 26. Likewise, the Spirit also helps in our weakness, for we do not know what we should pray for as we ought, but the Spirit himself prays, making intercession for us with groanings which cannot be uttered. But Jesus searches our heart. He knows our heart. He knows what the Spirit is doing. And that's what I'm trying to say, guys. We all have to get back in that spiritual realm. Because that's where, that's where this is at. That's kind of where the rubber meets the road. The truth's going to come out. I mean, there's just so much to it. But it doesn't come out in the natural. Yeah, granted, you know, we're in this world, but we're not of this world. Granted, we have to have car payments, we have to have cars, we have to do things. I get it, I understand that. But you can still keep your mind on the Spirit. That's where it's at in the spiritual realm, guys. That's where our battle lies. That's where the deception from the enemy comes from. Where he fights your mind. Because he wants to get in here. So he can get in here. It's time to use our heart. Our spiritual heart. The heart that God gave us to see, to rightly divide the word of truth. You know, 
Who's your source? God, Jesus, the Holy Ghost, the Word. Get in that realm, guys. That's what I'm trying to say. Just dive into that realm. So anyhow, Happy New Year. Um, email me if you want to. SteveYoungsFromYah.com. Share these videos with others. Uh, let's kind of look at some of my other ones about Colossians 3.16. Being just as important of the scriptures, John 3:16. That's a message on there. Um, kind of maybe might, you know, provoke you a little bit to get deeper into the word, because really that's kind of what all I'm doing. I'm just directional. I'm not just directing it to him. That's my goal. I don't really care about the rest of it. Me or fame or nothing. I'm, I don't really care. I'm not even trying to be famous. Really, honestly, I'm just wanting to be that vessel meet for the master's use so anyhow we love you guys um talk to you soon sorry if i sound a little hoarse like i said i've been pretty sick uh kind of a battle i went through pretty good battle for you know days um but jesus is good it's great it's awesome and love you guys talk to you soon